Hey guys, it's Nemo, and welcome back to Crusader Kings. This time I've actually remembered to turn on the microphone. <laughs> so, uh, let's hope we get it and get it right. What a noob, eh? What a noob. Anyway, we're still following the House of Surtising. Uh, we're up to 1092. We have been playing since 769. And we're following our current Emperor, who is Aidwig the Blessed. Now, He's 61, he probably won't have that much time to live, but we have been making some pretty good inroads into France and into Ireland. And as you can see, you've got, we've got a, a uh, white and pink border around us. That's because we have a custom-made empire. Now, if you have a custom-made empire or a custom-made kingdom or a custom-made whatever, um, the default border line is the pink and white and your soldiers as you can see our retainers have got pink on their their clothes so i think it'd be really cool if uh, paradox changed it to you know whatever you your main colors were on your shield that that's what it was like the red and yellow for england for example but I'm not going to worry too much about that we're going pretty well with what we've been doing so i the realm of five years of peace I don't know who can we go to war with probably only uh, Ireland Cashel Island Cashel Island so I'm not going to worry about the five years of peace at the moment we're actually going to keep pushing and get as much land as we can now this guy in Ireland has already been we've got a truce with him so we don't want to break the truce because people look at it pretty badly but Cashel Island which I believe is this one House of Carling okay House of Carling still alive yeah they are 31 okay let's move in and start conquering Scotland shall we okay Scotland the Kingdom of Scotland itself yeah we could probably take Galloway how many men uh, almost none. Right, the House of Cersei. We're going to declare war and we can't. Why is that? Council votes no. Okay, so we need to get our council to do what we want. Oh, what? Serdic. Serdic. Oh, that's not good. Heir to the throne, hey? Okay, what about your son? Hey, but... He's paranoid, okay. Like, it should be okay. Should be okay. Anyway. Let's get some council members to vote for us. By a favour by a favor and by a favor from him now that if that goes ahead that's three which will give us four votes including myself that should be enough to although the council's bigger now so it'll be half and half so my son by a favor from him as well Okay, good. Right, let's call in the council support uh, on all these guys. Calling council support. Okay. So now that we have that done we can now go to war up here who's he fighting against Munster what can we do border dispute yeah border disputes fine um, we want Lothian so let's raise the troops we'll 
go in there with everything we've got. You want to fight a war? You're going to go in hammer and tongs. Why? Because don't give the enemy any chance at all. Okay, walls here. Has <laughs> one, one territory and he creates the, uh, the Duchy of Wessex. Okay, I don't know how you managed to do that. I love these helmets, they're awesome, the, the Norman style helmet, English helmets. Okay. Mm, we should be running out of cash. Haven't had that little amount of money for quite a while. Alright. Just want to check the bloodline, is it? Okay, it's not actually. Hedwig. Because he would be able to, if you have over 5,000 prestige, you can create a bloodline, but you can only create one every, I think it's a couple of hundred years. Okay, if we can claim Ireland and Scotland then we can have our advisors being uh, our advisors can be uh, viceroys okay died a natural death yeah uh, so Empress Sertich is blind that's gonna go down really well Right, let's finish this war, let's get some more land. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to be able to... Yeah, you know what, we're just going to die. Killed at 36, he was, he was blind anyway. He wasn't going to be able to really do much for the kingdom. And the, the young boy, he will be the emperor, is 14. So he's nearly there, he's nearly there. which means we'll be really relying on our retainers a lot. The more retainers you've got, the better, because they are loyal soldiers to you, no matter what's going on. Okay, she's Welsh. Okay, that could be a problem. She might lose that back to I can't revoke because I'm young and it'll be a regency, so that's annoying. Who has territory up here? It's under Cumbria. Okay, let's transfer her to the Prince Archbishop. And he may be able to revoke. So transfer vassalage. We want the Countess of Lothian. Which means that there's going to be a fight happening later on between whoever the viceroys are. And the Prince Archbishop. Because if the, vice, the viceroy of Scotland is going to want to take back all Scottish held territory, you know, Scottish territory. Which is fair enough. It's fair enough, you don't. I don't really like the border gore stuff, but it's not too bad within your own empire. You can sort of deal with it. Okay, Adrich. He'll be off to one of the knights. Okay, I have ten territories. Oh, I don't want that. Why have I got that? Must have inherited off someone who died. That's all right. We will give that to the Prince Archbishop. Prince Arch 
Bishop can't be the Viceroy of Ireland though, so maybe we should set up a Irishman who will become the Viceroy or a Norman or an Anglo-Saxon or an Englishman Okay, they're all unhappy because I've got nine territory, uh, ten territories. Cumbria, yeah, Cumbria is way more powerful than uh, Wessex. He's only got one territory, Wessex. Okay, more wars. We can we can fight wars, which is cool. Um, I'm going to have to go to war with the knights to get. Brittany. So I'll just sit here and wait for a minute until I'm old enough and I should be able to go to war with everybody when this is done. Ah, uh, see I hate that. Two things I hate in games more than enemies. Uh, like enemy nations and that is um, heretics which want to just rise up and kill everything and rebels nothing worse than rebels oh, it just yeah makes me wild <laughs> okay regency's finished I've come of age for some reason my young fella likes shiny things so we're going to get rid of her actually we're going to break that betrothal and the reason is is because we have 10 of our own domain territories but we want to create we want to be a, a warrior a war focus so we're going to find ourselves a wife who has like her very high stewardship. Now, yeah, it lowers your prestige, but I can hold on to 10 territories because of my wife. My skills and my wife's skills combined make me heaps better, which is what you want. Okay, now I'm going to give myself a better looking beard. Yeah, we'll go with that beard. It looks cool with the longer hair. Yeah, that looks mad. <coughs> Okay, we have a peasant revolt, so we're just going to use my domain soldiers, okay, some of my, I have Linda's farm as well, radio. Um, I'm going to stop myself going to battle. Until I have at least one son, an heir. Well, England gets flooded with disease, and it's really frustrating. It's pregnant already. That's good. Up the duff, pretty virile. Okay, let's organise a coronation ceremony. We. Have uh, we're, we're rich, but not rich that rich. So when you become an emperor, only the Pope can crown you as the emperor. Unless you have an anti-Pope, and then your anti-Pope will crown you. Okay, so we're still not liked by our people. There we go, good. Okay, that's gone. Let's concentrate on taking more of this Irish territory. Spymaster. Ah, you're useless at your job. But you are the Grand Mayor. Ok, 
Okay. What's my threat? Okay, 10.6. I should be able to go to war. So, Aidbert. Look at that. That's disease. What is that? Syphilis. <laughs> Ah, uh, you dirty Englishman. Dirty Englishman. Ha 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 ha. Alright. Name her. Uh, no, I'm not going to name her after her mother. Give her a duty focus. Can we get more training grounds? Not as of yet. More training grounds we have, the more we can build our retinue, and the more retainers you have, the safer you're likely to be as a king, emperor, duke. So, castle towns you want, because that's what we'll get money from. Training grounds done, barracks, let's put the barracks. Okay, that one's on its way. Castle town, there's, okay, no training grounds. Uh, castle towns and shipyards are good for bringing in money. So if you've got a castle shipyard, use it to bring in money. Okay, it's not gonna build those at the moment. I'm just gonna wait. Okay, now, who are we going to go and take on? Let's take on Scotland because that's Sweden and we don't want Sweden to... De jure war, okay, that's fine. I'm going to see if I can get a claim from... No, I can't. From the Pope, okay won't let me. Ooh. Ah, that might make her free. Force vassalization. There you go. That's what we'll do. So, let's save up a little bit of cash. We'll force the Scots into vassalization and then that will give us Cast's belly to be able to take all of Scotland. So, we're just going to wait for a bit. Get some money up. Oh, I don't want to spend money. Okay, house. Spymaster, Earl of Warwick. Oh. What happened there? Okay, killed in personal combat. Right. Let's send her, if I can, I can't, to the nunnery. Alright, my cousin, matrilineal, yeah that's fine, his family's dead, it's the same line, just not the top bloodline. So they live under the Pope. Hey, okay. Alright, time to get Scotland. So, Osrich, buy a favour, buy a favour from Elfnath, and Elfgar. Okay, that's three. Let's get one more, just in case. Ooh, I can't, because he must already be under. If you can't buy a favour with them, it usually means they're already under the influence of a favour to somebody else.
So, Sidrich can't buy. See, he's already under the favour of someone else. So is he. Okay, I don't want to request council support that much because it means you owe them a favour. So I'm going to be firing the Duke of Cumbria after this. No, nah, see they're under favours, which this could be bad. Mm, that's three, anyway. See if we can declare war on Archbishop. Sophie's claim on Scotland. No, no, I don't want that. We're going to force vassalization. Ah, my prestige isn't high enough. Okay, we're not going to force vassalization. What do I need? Prestige. I need 2,500 um, miles off, miles off. Right, let's go to war somewhere else. Go to war with Ireland. Uh, De Jure claim on Dublin. Yeah, we'll do that. No, we won't do that one. Okay. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to. Oh, let's build war to war. Did you? To do much. Which is frustrating. Okay, what happened there? What happened there? Oh, I hate that when you declare war and someone dies. <laughs> right. You, uh, you can stay there for the moment. Where's the Prince Archbishop? There it is. Can't buy a favour. Did you claim on Dublin again? Let's do it. Ten ninety eight. Okay, cool. There is a, a um, one game I want to play, and I, I've done it before, and it's it's so cool. It can be pretty hard if you don't get it right, but it is Bohemond, Prince of Antioch, try surviving as him. Okay, Ed Gifu, Ed Gifu. <coughs> marry the King of Andalusia. He is in revolt, so we'll marry the King of Germany instead. Okay, 16,000 men. Mm. Okay. That's why we're having political problems with Germany. Political concerns, because he owns the south of France, we own the north of France. Okay, I'll get these guys done, and then I'll be able to go to war with France again. Look at that, it's just a mess. Yeah. No. Right. Adrix. Adrich. Citizen. You are going to the Knights. Teutons. Yeah, you go to the Teutons. Quite frail. 
might even survive as a knight. Look at the disease. Dirty Englishman still being dirty. Okay, he's a prisoner. Okay, I'll have to check actually my prisoners. Alright, so Norway is now involved in the war against Scotland. Merovingi, that'll be good, that should be an alliance. Okay, good. That's two powerful alliances. But at the moment we're not gonna really worry too much because we are what is being attacked? I haven't got any land. Oh yeah, okay, a little bit. Under siege. Yes, okay, I don't want to break an alliance, but I'm not going to be able to help you out, bud. Got other stuff to do, bigger fish to fry. Let's come down here. Sif lead. Okay, queen. Yep, right here. Okay, to Cashel Island, I can go after him. Okay. Usurp, what are we gonna usurp? Mm, not interested. I'll get it, I'll get all these later on anyway. Okay, that war is over, that's good. Uh, I know what that is. Why I'm seeing a lot of other uh, victories and losses in battles is because of the war overseas. I should, go, I should go and help out. I should go and help out. Okay. Plenty of war to go around. The only thing with fighting everyone else's wars is you've got to be careful of how many men you lose because of this. You know, these guys calling for changes in the laws and want them to be rebels and uh, rebels. Okay, where are we going to go? We'll go down here because it looks like this is the war he's losing. So if we can knock off that army, knock off this army. Ah, oh, we're gonna go around France, that's annoying. My wife is pregnant when I was away, immaculate conception. See, that didn't change anything though. Okay, I'm actually at war with Norway. I could go and knock their army off. So there must be a heap of land there, like here, that's claimed by the rebels. Okay, Julik, sorry. More rebels, yep, there's rebels down south. 
rebels. I hate rebels. Hey, you got a kid. And he's club footed, so that's not cool. That'll hinder him a little bit. Baptized and now we're poor. <laughs> Queen Sophie, okay, that's cool. That's cool, she did become my vassal, so I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm gonna murder him though. Or assassinate, we'll say assassinate. Um, because we're trying to get rid of the Aztec culture out of our land. So now, Sophie, ah, see, unfortunately she's the queen, which means that to get her to be a viceroy, I'm going to have to revoke her title, which could cause a war amongst all my vassals. And it doesn't look like I have the strength to take on... Good, that's one more over. Uh, it doesn't look like I have the strength to take on all my vassals. Okay, after this war, we want to go to war with France. Now that we've got Scotland taking the north. There we go. Now that I would hope that the Queen of Scotland can start taking back her own land. That's the hope. But um, probably not going to happen without my encouragement. Okay, back to 16. Alright, we'll get rich once we stop once we stop fighting, once the war's over when we can drop our troops down and uh, yeah, we'll go with Cornwall. He's not the <coughs> greatest, but he's powerful. Okay, my sister, another sister, that's good. The King of Greece. Mm. My only problem with the King of Greece is that he's a long way away from where I am. So if I need his help, he's likely to be too far away. Okay. So we're going to go with the Duke of, where was it, Duke of Charland. And we'll get an alliance with that kid. Ah, oh, look at that, damn it, he's only got 598 men. I can always break it. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. Break that betrothal. Another bastard brother. Where are you? Okay, come to court. No. Okay, he's not going to come because he's got claims on England and he wants it. Okay, go. we'll go to the despot of Greece. Surely the despot of Greece has got. enough men yeah oh yeah oh yeah despot of Greece the king of Greece definitely has enough men we'll ally with that okay time to head back you've got this war here on the mainland covered I on the other hand have 
problem with rebels. We hate rebels. Alright, Battle of London, all done. Anyway guys, that is me for this episode, you know, trying to do the half hour episodes. Uh, in the next episode, if we can, we'll start taking more of France. If we can claim the crown of France, that'll be really good. Uh, get some more of Ireland and start pushing back on Scotland. So, we've got a lot of fighting to go, but it'll keep us powerful. And that's what we got to do. We've got to stay powerful while we're expanding. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you next time.